Here's Sharp. They've also got their Aquas line of 4K they have 4K TVs. televisions. 4K uh, and Ultra HD. Can you explain to me the difference between 4K and Ultra HD? Because I don't know. I cannot. Really? Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's, let's, 4K is four times let's, HD four times, resolution. Yeah. Do you want to take a look let's in here and see if we can yeah. find a way to explain it to us? Here's some okay. There's a prototype of a tablet. So here's the Aquas one. Yeah. The Aquas line has been going on forever. So, hey, how are you guys? Um, oh, this yeah. is a good Couldn't comparison. Can I have you guys just check in I think this is... Work. Uh, we're actually I don't know if this is up converting, you are, but so. you can tell there's a lot more detail over there than in this one, which is kind of fudgy or muddly. There, especially in the water. You can see the ripples. Oh, that's that's very impressive. But from like a distance of like, I don't know, average viewing distance, I don't know if you can notice that much of a difference. But for gaming, oh, okay, there's a live, get the live shot. Actual human. It's looking good. Yeah. I think I'm sold on these now, actually. I didn't care about them before, but I could probably get one now. Do you have any information to report? We are probably locking down someone who wants to talk to us. Oh, really? So, yeah. What's that? Oh, you can. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you can. Oh, perfect. Uh, anybody. This guy said he can talk. <laughs> yeah, we're live right now. So you are, you are actually the star right, of the show as well. Peter, thank you. Good, good. So we were just, we had a discussion. We don't know the difference between 4K and Ultra HD. So I, I know the question that you guys are asking and the, the difference with ultra high definition and 4K. We're not making a distinction for that here in the booth. Okay. Um, really, our big technology story is talking about Q plus yeah. and working and offering more higher definition um, than HD or the highest definition available in full HD, yeah. which we see as a great bridge opportunity to a 4K oh, picture okay. that's there. So, so is this more affordable than those? That's really that's the the big story here at the booth right now. So what we've done is we've leveraged our Quatron um, engine that's out, and as your viewers are aware, we're talking about a four color sub pixel area. So we're talking about red, green, blue, and yellow right. that's out there, and which not only is RGB, which is just right? RGB. Yeah. So we're talking about eight million sub pixels as opposed to six million in a traditional RGB environment that's out there. Now, when you take in our Q Plus technology, and that's Quadron Plus Revelation technology, yeah. what we're doing is we're splitting those sub-pixels that are out there. So we're able to scale them to 16 million sub-pixels that are out in the uh, marketplace right now. So vertically, we're able to show 2160 yeah. um, across. And then depending on the content that comes in, we're able to, if it's legacy content, we can upscale that in a two-step process all the way up to the highest resolution that's available in Full HD. But the best part is, as you're talking about, sorry, but that, as we're talking about 4K and UHD, is I can take a native 4K signal and be able to display that on what used to be a full HD panel, but with Q+, I'm future ready, and I'm able to take over a legacy content. So right now, we know that you're talking, your viewers are asking a lot about 4K and UHD. As we're waiting for content to come in, this Q+, technology really is a game changer. There is no other manufacturer that's offering 10 million more sub pixels except for sharp yeah, that's well, out there. We were looking at this. So yeah. is this, the, this is the example of, of the this without really it is. with so, the technology? You know, up until what, it was three years ago that yeah. really we saw the full embrace and everybody kind of get their arms wrapped around full HD yeah, and this a was yeah. a great picture that was out in the marketplace mm -hmm. that's there. You'll see with our Q Plus um, technology what this allows you to do is see not only more detail but more color and more depth that's out there. So for the consumer that's looking for just that nice stuff. Now, this is a part of a two-step series in Q+. We offer the SQ and the UQ um, technology. What UQ allows you to do is offer not only a THX certified panel, but you're getting a really good cosmetic. You're getting aluminum uh, or aircraft-grade aluminum that's out there, a diamond-cut bezel. And, of course, for contrast, I know that your viewers are probably asking for strong black levels. Yeah. We love that here, not only with THX certification, but as well as our true, true bright panel. You're able to get really deep dark blacks. Now that seems to be a, uh, one of the key differentiating factors between like, you know, the average price and then premium product. So why is that? Why is the, the true black and the deep blacks, you know, harder to, to achieve on a, on a reasonably priced panel? It's a, it's a good story. So, you know, to achieve price points that you're seeing in some other manufacturers, entry-level products that are out there, we're talking about either direct LED um, or we're talking about very small clusters. Remember, though, with all of our sharp products, we're talking about traditional edge lit products. So we're really going to stand out and offer deeper, richer blacks that are out there. But it's not until you get into our premium levels, um, our higher level,
rivals a product that you see that super bright panel or true bright panel that's out there. So to for a customer that's looking for the best in a movie experience or a home theater experience, black levels are important, so we ask for that premium. Well, thanks very much. No worries. I appreciate seeing you guys. Yeah. It's good to see all your viewers online as well. Yeah. My phone's blowing up because of all of this. <laughs> really? Good to see you, you guys. Right, Have a great day.